Hey guys, what's up? I am Nikhil from Jokemotions.com and welcome to this brand new After Effects tutorial. Today, I am going to show you guys how to create a brush strokes slideshow animation inside of After Effects from scratch. It's very simple and very easy to create and looks very stunning. So if you want to purchase the complete slideshow template, I'll mention the link down in the description box below. If not, you can follow along with me and create your own amazing looking slideshow animation. Also, the project file is absolutely free. You can download it from the description. It contains all the assets that I will be using in this tutorial. And with that said, let's jump into After Effects and get started. All right, so here we are in After Effects. So let's start by creating a new composition. I'm going to keep it 1920 by 1080. So I'm going to select this preset 10 seconds long and yes, everything else looks good. Let's rename this to main as this is going to be our main composition. Hit OK. Create one more composition, which is going to be our media placeholder where you can drag in any image or a video that you want. So I'll call this media. And finally, I'll create one more for the transition. So I'll call this tran transition comp and hit OK. So in the transition comp here, I have a very simple transition of a brush stroke animation. And by the way, you can download the free project file from the link in the description below. So once you have all the assets that I'm going to use in this tutorial, it will be more easy for you guys to follow along. Now in the media composition, I can drag and drop in the image that I want to use. You can use a video or any image doesn't really matter. So yeah, that is looking good. Let's go into the main composition and start animating our brush strokes. Now to animate the brush stroke here, I have a simple PNG image of a brush, which you can download, you know, from Google if you want to, or you can use the same one from the project file. So I have this, let's actually go ahead and add a tint on this to add some color. So you can go into effects and presets and type in tint. Just drag and drop it. And for this one, I'm going to go with a nice blue color, maybe a bit subtle, just like that. And this one to blue as well. Now we don't have that much detail. I want to extract some more detail from this image. So what I can do is I can add a simple choco. So I'll go into effects and preset and type in simple choco. There we go. You can just double click to apply that up. And I'll go with a choke mat of two. And now you can see much more detail into the brush strokes and it looks very nice and organic like a real paint brush. So let's drag and drop in our transition comp on the top of the brush comp and change the track mat of the brush to Luma mat. And now we have something like this. And also make sure the background is transparent. So that is looking pretty cool. Let's actually select the brush, hit R to bring down the rotation properties and rotate it a bit. Just like that. Let's select both the layers and hit Ctrl D to duplicate it. So now we have one more copy of the brush. I can give it a different color. So I can go with a nice subtle pink color maybe this time. Just like that. And I'm going to rotate it into a different direction just to make it look more random. So something like that looks good. Also, I can rotate the transition as well. So select the layer, hit R and rotate it by 180 degrees. All right, so now we have something like that. Let's actually displace this a bit. So I'll drag this once to 10 frames. So now we have something like that. Pretty cool. Let's hit control Y on the keyboard to create a new solid called this BG for background. Hit OK, drag this at the back. Now it's looking much better as you can see. And I can play around with the simple choker depending on the look I want to go for. So I'm going to keep it something like around 3.5 looks good. Maybe it's a bit too much. Let's go with 3. OK, that is looking great, I think. Pretty nice. Now let's actually drag and drop in our media composition on the top 
and then I can select the brush image drag and drop that one change the media track mat to alpha matte so now you can see we have something like that let's select both the layers hit ctrl shift c call this media maybe call this media pre-comp and then select the transition comp and drag it drop it on the top of the media comp and then change the track mat to luma matte so now we have this really cool and simple animation let's move this a bit forward in time maybe 20 frames so i'll move this right over here so we have something like that maybe 20 is a bit too much so i'll go with 15 frames looks good okay that is looking great let's select the layers make sure the layers are selected i'll change the color to a different color just so, just so that we can see it more properly and then hit ctrl d to duplicate it and on the previous layer i want to add a tint to make it black and white and then move this frames forward maybe five frames so firstly we have the black and white color and then the main colors of the composition maybe a bit more so first it is black and white and then the color appears also one more thing that i can do is add some unsharp mask to this just to highlight the edges and make it a bit more sharper so for the amount i'll go with 70 and for the radius i'll go with 5. that is looking very nice actually you can see before and after let's copy this hit ctrl c and paste it on the color comp as well okay so that is looking pretty cool now let's go ahead and add some distortion that you see in the beginning of the animation so let's create a new comp call this distortion hit ok and the first thing that i'm going to add is some zoom so let's create a new adjustment layer call this zoom i'll keep it maybe 10 frames long or let's go with actually 15 frames let's go with 10 frames actually hold alt and close square bracket to cut that up and let's add and let's add a transform effect so go into effects and preset type in transform drag and drop it onto the layer and then scale this by around 150 percent also you can't see anything because you know we don't have any layer beneath the adjustment layer so i need to add a media com so that we can see the effect and what i can do is i'll right click and make it a guide layer so guide layer okay transform is looking good okay so we want something like that i'll go somewhere around there select this and hit ctrl d to duplicate it let's delete the transform and i'm gonna call this actually delete the transform effect and rename this layer to let's call it maybe u so let's select the layer go into effects and preset and add a u and saturation just double click to apply that up turn on the colorize option and then you can go ahead and select any color that you want to go with in my case i'm going to go with a nice purple color and increase the saturation a bit that is looking great we tweak it a bit that is looking cool let's go with 60 percent okay i'll make this layer a bit bigger go maybe drag it right over here let's hit t to bring down the opacity set this to zero create a keyframe go right over here set this to 100 go a few frames forward in time create a keyframe and set this to zero so right now we have something like this let's select this layer hit ctrl d to duplicate it call this blur and hit u and get rid of all the keyframes make sure the opacity is set to 100 and drag this a bit forward let's go ahead in the effects and preset panel and add a blur you can use any kind of blur that you feel comfortable with 
I think but fast blur would work good with this so I'll type in fast blur actually okay that would work pretty good also get rid of U and saturation from the blur layer I'll set this to around 5% and then what I can do is create a keyframe on the on the blur radius and go a few frames forward in time set this to zero so now we have something like this pretty cool and simple and then I can hit Control Y on the keyboard to create a new solid call this a flash and hold alt and open square bracket to crop that up go right over here hold alt and close square bracket to crop it again and hit T to bring down the opacity create a keyframe drag that keyframe at the very beginning actually let's drag it right over here set this to zero go right over here and set this to zero so now we have something like you can see but I want to match it with this time so I can go right over here let's see how it looks pretty cool we increase the transform a bit okay I think I'll make it a bit faster so I'll just tweak the keyframes a bit of the light okay that is looking pretty good now you can keep it just like that and it is looking absolutely fine but I think I'm gonna do some minor adjustments so I can move on the transform a bit and that is looking pretty nice let's go into the main composition and drag the distortion comp on the top of all the compositions maybe I'll turn on the collapse transformation and drag it a bit just like that until I see the effect yep that is looking great but I think I'm gonna drag this just a bit so let's see our animation so far so I'm gonna preview this really quick and yep I think it's looking pretty cool Maybe a bit forward that is looking pretty great I think I'm gonna go right over here and move the lights a bit forward let's go yep that is looking much better but the light intensity is a bit too much so I can go into distortion go right here and set the opacity to 50 okay let's see now yep that is looking much better I think and the same technique I'm going to use on the title as well so you can create a new so you can create a new composition for the title I'll call this title and let's type in something like brush slides I'm using the chunk 5 font I'll provide the link in the description to download the same exact font and then what I can do is drag in the transition on the top change the track mat to luma matte and now we have this really nice transition on the top maybe I'll change the size of the text a bit and change the size of the transition also okay so that is looking great let's go into the main comp and drag in the title composition that we just created scale this down a bit place it into the position that you want and then you can match the timing so yep that is looking great I think maybe a bit just like that yep that is looking great let's do some final adjustments and tweaks so I'll drag the overlay on the top of our background and and then what I can do is add a tint to this so I'll type in tint and double click to apply that up make it a nice grayish or an off-white color and this will add some nice texture animation on our background also I can use this on the top of our animation as well so I'll hit ctrl D to duplicate it change the blending mode to overlay and bring this on the top 
and bring down the opacity so i'll bring this down really low maybe something like 30 so we will have a little bit of you know overlay animation on the top let's do some final color correction so i'll create a new adjustment layer call this cc for color correction and let's go into effects and presets and add vibrance double click to apply that up I'll keep it around 50 that looks good and then we can add some tint to this as well so let's add a tint for the blacks I'll go with a nice pink color and for the whites I'll go with a nice yellow color and then bring down the amount really low just to create a nice feel to the complete theme and that is looking great i think very nice and finally i'll add a curves adjustment to this just to make the image pop a bit and lastly let's create a new adjustment layer and call this t for transform and select the layer go into effects and presets and add a transform to this so we can add some little bit of zooming animation now i can i can select the background layer hit s to bring down the scale properties and scale this up to around 200 and then go at the very beginning select the layer create create a keyframe on the scale property go to around five seconds and let's scale this up to around one one zero so now we have a simple scaling animation as well and let's preview our complete animation and yep i think this is looking pretty great and there we have our very professional looking brush slideshow animation inside of after effects so i hope you enjoyed this really cool tutorial and if you did then make sure to subscribe comment and like and follow me on instagram at dope.motions and i will see you guys in the next video till then take care thank you so much for watching and don't forget to stay raw stay creative